Hello, and welcome to this lecture on tort law. Now, in this lecture, we're going to delve into the basics of tort law, including its definition, purpose, as well as some of the different types of torts. So let's get started. Now, tort law is a branch of civil law that deals with civil wrongs or injuries caused to individuals or their property. It involves legal remedies for those who have suffered harm or loss due to the wrongful actions or omissions of others. Unlike criminal law, which focuses primarily on punishment, tort law aims to compensate the injured party for the harm that they've actually endured. Now, the primary purpose of tort law is to ensure justice and fairness by holding individuals or entities accountable for their actions or inactions that cause harm. In doing so, tort law serves several important functions. The first function it serves is one of compensation. Tort law allows injured parties to seek compensation for the harm that they've suffered. It aims to restore them as far as possible or as much as possible to their pre-injury state by providing financial remedies for things like medical expenses, property damage, lost wages, as well as pain and suffering. Another function of tort law is one of deterrence. It acts as a deterrent by discouraging individuals or organizations from engaging in negligent or intentional conduct that could harm others. The fear of potential legal liability motivates people, or at least should motivate people, to exercise greater care and avoid actions that could lead to harm. The third function of tort law is one of prevention. By holding wrongdoers accountable and providing legal remedies, tort law encourages preventative measures. That means that individuals or businesses are more likely to take precautions, implement safety measures, and act in a responsible way to avoid potential legal liability. Now that we understand some of the different functions of tort law, let's explore some of the different types of torts. Now, torts can be broadly categorized into three main types. The first type are intentional torts. Intentional torts occur when a person deliberately engages in actions that cause harm to another individual or their property. Now, some examples of intentional torts include things like assault and battery, defamation, trespassing, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. The second type of torts is called negligence. Now, negligence is actually the most common type of tort and really occurs when a person just fails to exercise reasonable care, resulting in the harm of someone else. The elements of negligence typically include a duty of care, a breach of that duty, causation, as well as some sort of damages. An example of a negligence tort would be a car accident. When driving a vehicle, there is a duty of care to responsibly drive and operate that motor vehicle safely. If somebody causes an accident, there is a clear breach of that duty, which in turn they cause. So you have the causation link and there are some sort of physical and potentially bodily injury damages. The last type of tort is called strict liability. Now, strict liability torts do not require any sort of proof of intent or negligence. Instead, they actually focus on the defendant's responsibility for engaging in inherently dangerous activities or keeping dangerous substances or animals. An example of this would be a product liability case where a manufacturer is held liable for defective products. In conclusion, tort law is an essential aspect of civil law as it provides remedies for individuals who have suffered some sort of harm or loss due to the wrongful actions of others. Its purpose is to ensure justice, compensate the injured parties, deter future wrongdoings, and promote, and promote preventative measures. So by understanding the basics of tort law and the different types of torts, we can help navigate the legal system more effectively and contribute to a society that values accountability and fairness. From a business perspective, Understanding the different types of torts is important for helping the business not only maintain its public image, but also navigate any sort of legal liability. I hope you've enjoyed this video on tort law. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.